your last fight, homie, we all make mistakes and we learn from them. I know, I know, I know what I did wrong. I know it happens, you know, and now that I experienced a lot of stuff, now it's time to, to get back to work. It's your boy Young Cantu coming in for Airshow Sports. Heavyweight boxing and former unified heavyweight champion Andy Ruiz Jr. There have been reports that he is scheduled to take on Chris Ariola sometime late this year, if not in early 2021. Stay tuned. It's the champ! Where'd you find this? Thanks for tuning in to Airshow Sports. Make sure you hit the like button on this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We talk about boxing as well as all other professional sports and we got the latest content in the game. Andy Ruiz Jr. who was a relatively unknown heavyweight until he beat Anthony Joshua back on June 1st 2019 in an upset victory to claim the unified heavyweight titles is in talks with a fight against Chris Ariola, the former heavyweight title challenger. This is a fight that I actually was trying to cultivate a couple years back. I spoke with both fighters about this potential fight and both were open to the possibility of facing each other somewhere down the road. I like him. I, I've known him since he was about 16, 17 years old. He used to come down from Hikali, I sparred with him a couple times. But yeah, you know, I would love to fight anybody, man. Not not no disrespect toward him, but like, yeah. I don't care who I fight. Yeah, you know, Chris Otto has been a, a good friend with me since I was 16, 17 years old. We sparred. And, um, you know, I think that would be a great fight. If he's willing, I'm willing, you know, and um, let's make the fight happen. Um, I know we both are a little rusted. We need to train and, and get a fight in. So um, if he's willing, I'm willing, you know, let's do it. Here's the deal, Andy Ruiz Jr. captured the heavyweight title last summer. He shocked everybody, he was a 10 to 1 underdog going in against undefeated Anthony Joshua who was making his U US debut. Nobody gave Ruiz a shot. Ruiz goes in, he gets dropped in the third round, gets back up, knocks Joshua down twice in that same round and basically takes over the fight. Once Ruiz won the title, it's safe to say that he got complacent. He stopped working as hard in training camp and he didn't come into the rematch 100% focused and 100% committed to keeping his belts and staying on top. The rematch against Anthony Joshua was very disappointing from my perspective because I knew Andy Ruiz before he fought Joshua. I had met him when he barely started training at Legends Boxing in Norwalk under Manny Robles. I had talked to him and interviewed him about his career moving forward. This was about a year after he had fought Joseph Parker for the WBO title and he was just starting back up, just starting to train again and get his mind and body right. I need to redeem myself, I need to get stronger, I need to be in better shape. And I remember speaking to Andy and he told me he was going to be more focused, more committed to staying in shape and to giving it his all. He had told me that he had been doing things half-assed until that point and he knew that if he pushed a little harder and focused a little more he could win the title yeah I sure did man after the the loss of parker you know it's, i did it i came this far doing it halfway and now i'm gonna commit all the way so when he won the title i was of the mindset that he was going to continue to stay on top and he's going to he was going to continue to stay focused considering he worked so hard to get to that point. However, he disappointed me and a lot of his fans with his inability to create offense in the fight against Joshua. And he just, he, he didn't look like that hungry fighter that we got to know, you know, and it was a little bit frustrating seeing Andy and his approach to the, to the rematch against Joshua, because it's almost as if he made the same mistake twice. He didn't train as hard as he could have for the, the Joseph Parker fight and the results showed he lost a split decision he didn't train hard enough for the rematch against Joshua and the results showed he got basically shut out in the fight by unanimous decision so Andy Ruiz has a lot to prove to his fans as well as himself 
he's got a lot to prove now there's this there's a fight brewing and there's talks of a fight between him and chris Ariola, which is a good comeback fight for him Ariola is basically out the door he's not the fighter he once was um i believe it's been like at least 10 years since he challenged vitaly klitschko for the wbc title so Ariola Ariola is no spring chicken but these are two big latino two big mexican heavyweights i think it's an intriguing fight i think there's they're gonna get a good audience for the fight a lot of people will be tuning into the fight because they want to see how Andy responds from a loss. They want to see if he's still a top contender in the game. So Chris Ariola, Chris Ariola went the distance with Adam Kalnacki. And, you know, he's not a, he's not an easy out for anybody. So it's a good fight to kind of see where Ruiz is at. But in, in my estimation, I want to see Andy really put on a show. He's got a show that... He is still a top dog in the division and the win against Joshua wasn't a fluke. He's got to put Chris Ariola away. Now this fight is not official, but there's been reports that this fight is going to take place. You know, I think it's a good comeback fight for Ruiz, but I'm expecting a lot from him in this return fight. And I believe, I really believe that he can come back and he could contend for a world title again because he's done it before and all it takes is him to discipline himself thanks for tuning in to air show sports make sure you hit that like button remember this is aaron Cantu. i'm an insider in the sport of boxing i've been with the boxing voice and i currently work with fight hype so i have inside perspective inside scoop on the sport this isn't some average joe just spilling his opinion out to the world you know i have a credible opinion and I like to share my thoughts and fill you in on what's going on.